Today's episode is brought to you by Tanakra, SharePoint, and Power Automate. On today's episode of How Did Jason Do That? I will be walking you through how to get email notifications when a document is added to a SharePoint document library. We will be using SharePoint Online and Power Automate to get this done. But before we get started, don't forget to hit that shiny subscribe button. And don't forget to also hit that bell icon so you get notified when new videos are uploaded. Let's get started. I've set up a document library named Demo Library. We'll be performing the SharePoint actions within this library. The idea is that when you put a document in here, it automatically notifies uh, someone that the document has gone in with some extra data inside that email. So this is the document library we'll be using. Uh, we'll go to now Power Automate and simply we'll just go to new automated cloud flow. We'll give it a name for this. For this, I'll say uh, document uh, library notification. And we can have a look in the search triggers, but right off the bat, there's a, when a file is created in a folder, we'll just use that one right there. So SharePoint connector, and we'll just go create. So here we go. Right off the bat, gives you the first, uh, first settings we have to put in there. So we need to identify which site we are going to looking. And we'll go to Tanaka Training. Then I'll look specifically for that new demo library. So I'll just click on the folder icon, go to demo library. There we go. Now. Here's the trigger ready, so if anything is created in that folder, something will happen. So here's, we're gonna build out the rest of the what can happen here. So I'm gonna go and look in more SharePoint connectors. We're gonna get file metadata. I'm just gonna type in the word metadata. So we're gonna get the file metadata. That way, once the file is created, it's going to look at some of the metadata within that file that we can then use to build up a more customized email that we have uh, or that we're going to send. So here, we're just, again, just going to choose the training site. We're going to, uh, actually, specifically, it says file identifier. So if we click inside here, we're going to see some options, uh, some of the uh, uh, metadata that was that was retrieved when the file is created in the folder. So right off the bat, we can see here, it says file identifier. And down here, there's XMS file ID. Let's use that. So that way, it knows what it's looking for. When the file is created, it's going to look inside that site and look for that file that was created from the step above. Now we're going to get some more properties for this. We're going to go SharePoint again. And we're going to look for file properties. So I'm just going to go file properties. Get file properties. This is just going to get more metadata for the file that we've uh, we've put into the document library. So again, we'll just choose our little our document uh, or test site here. The library name specifically, we'll drop it down, we'll go to demo library, and the ID here, we're just going to click in and we'll see that it kind of almost gives you the, the, uh, the answers here, but if I click in, there's item ID, so that's what it's asking for, the specific ID of the file. So, so if we kind of walk through this again, when a file is created, it, identify, or it identifies that something is created, it gets some of the metadata, and when it gets file properties, the item ID is part of the metadata that's in there. So it's kind of, we're stepping through, getting more and more data from this file. Uh, the next and final step here is we're just going to send an email to somebody. So we're gonna use the handy Outlook connector, considering we're happily inside the Microsoft 365 space. And uh, I'm going to, uh, okay, just a, send an email <laughs> there we go. Uh, send an email I'll just do the send an email v2 uh, with 365 outlook so in this case I'm just gonna use me for demo purposes I'm gonna choose myself I'm going to say in the subjects now we can pull you can see there's a whole lot a whole lot more uh, um, information uh, or metadata that we can use to build up this email so in the subject line here I'm just gonna say uh, I'm just gonna scroll through have a look at all this stuff here We'll have file name somewhere in here. I'll uh, just search to see if we need to do that. We'll go file name. Name of the uh, yeah, I'll just go a uh, file name here. I guess we're gonna try that one here. Uh, and then we can start building up the email. So we can say hello. And we'll get that file name again. File name has been 
created in the demo library. I'll say click here to view the file. So what we can do now is we have a little bit. Now, ah, I'll be nice to go, thanks. Now we're automate. So what we can do now is we can actually make this hyperlink here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna toggle into the, uh, the code view. Uh, a lot of you people probably know, really easy to make a hyperlink. You just go a href equals, uh, close it off. Make sure you have it all closed within the a tag. And then within the a href for the link, what we can do is we can actually type in path. What we can do is we can, or actually even better than path, we'll go link. I'm gonna link, and one of the items we can have here, just make sure my cursor is properly in this a href and in between the two quotation marks, We'll go link and we'll go link to that item. So what I'll do now is it'll build up a little uh, hyperlink. So we'll say, hello, this file has been created in the demo library. Click here to view the file and you click and it'll take you in. So let's just give, we'll give that a save and let's try this out. So now we can go to the test at the top, right? We'll go test, we'll do a manual trigger of it and go test. So right now it says, okay, add a file to the SharePoint folder. Let's do that. Here's the demo library, I'm going to get it. I'm going to drag in my file just like that. Now we'll go back to the other tab and just watch how the workflow continues on this little test. So it looks like our flow ran successfully. So it pulled all the values. When a file was created, it got the metadata and the file properties and it built up an email and you can actually kind of see how it built up the email here, the raw uh, data that comes out afterwards, including the link to it. And so let's actually try that out. Let's check my email. When I check my email, you'll see here, there's a test document, it's perfect. It says, hello, just like we, we uh, wrote it up there in Power Automate. Hello, test document has been created in the demo library. Click here to view the file. Okay, let's click it. Have a look. And look, we're actually opening up the documents. There we go, that's really simple. This is how you use Power Automate to notify people via email if a file has been added to a document library. And that's how you send email notifications when a document is added to a SharePoint document library using Power Automate. If you like this video, please hit the subscribe button below and turn on notifications for another How Did Jason Do That video. And until next time, keep experimenting. See you later.